Hello people, this is Eric Cobra and this is Let's Play Dust and Illusion Tale Blind. I was informed that there's a single quest that I'm missing. Actually, now that I think about it, I think it was mentioned before, but I kind of forgot about it again. It happens. But if I remember correctly... Oh. She's cute. I'm not sure what I accomplished here. Wait a moment. I suddenly have a... How was... I suddenly have an idea. I don't get it. The frig is the point. Could someone like explain that? Like what the point of that is? Because I freed it and I'm not sure why. Really bothering me. Hey, how are you doing with your doll? I love my doll. I love her so much. Love, love, love. Doing well. Are you okay, Bopo? Is there anything I can do? It just doesn't seem real. Pa's gone and I wish... What is it? Well, I wish I could give him a proper send-off, you know? My whole life he'd been telling me about visiting those snowy mountains on the surface. And now he'll never get to see it. Not unless I help him. Does? do you think somehow he'll can try and get me some snow? I think Pa would really appreciate it. I think that should be doing. Of course, Popo. I understand. When I'm in the mountains, I'll remember to bring you back some snow. Promise. Thank you, Dust. Oh, thanks so much! Honestly, Dust? Snow? How do you intend on keeping it cold? I got a cooler now. This is important to him, Fidget. We'll find a way. We'll use the cooler and then bring him the special snowflakes. for Bopo. I'll be sure to give it to him if we ever find ourselves back in mud pot. You will in a few sex. Thank you. 
Go. Yeah, snow. Dust, you did it! You brought snow! I know how much it means to you, Bopo. Well, I don't have much to offer. Besides from this funny rock, it don't seem to do anything down here in Mud Pot, but it looks pretty neat. Here, it's all yours. Thanks, Bopo. Um. We had our moment together, me and Pa. Taking a walk through the snow, building a fort, watching all those flakes fall from the sky. I know none of it were real, but I'll always have this memory now, thanks to you. Yo, I've just welcome. gotta be strong now. For Mama, thanks so much, Dust, for everything. You're welcome. That was weird. Gates, um, rainbow gates. I'm not sure. I know. Now let's get somewhere. Ever don't pass him. Chapter five. Legend. <laughs> you know shit's about to get real when you get tired like that. Huh? Ain't this something? Okay. Moonblood Camp. Okay! Almost over dive into the lava. Halt! Who goes? Oh, it's you. Apologies, Mithronic. Please, enter. Well do. It's weird I'm seeing them like from full. They're very reptile based. Interesting people. That's a lot of them. We welcome your presence, Sen Mithrarin. Preparations for war are nearly complete. Right. Question time. This old of you? Surely you have more soldiers than this. General Gaius is nothing if not thorough. His forces have exterminated most moonbloods from this land. We are all that's left. How do you expect to win with so few soldiers? We cannot. That's why we created Sen Mithrarin. You, Dust, will turn the tide. Gee. Thanks. No pressure or anything. Uh, well. <laughs> 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 uh, me and Fitch are on the same wavelength. Yeah. So how safe are we here? Does General Gaius know of this place? I fear he does now. What? How? One of our own has been keeping an eye on you since your travels began. A merchant, Sarath. Ah, so that's who he is. Aha! Uh -huh. I knew that creepy merchant was one of you guys! Yeah, we are. Uh, everyone else kind of figured it out a while ago, Fidgets. How did a Moonblood operate so freely in the Wildlands? He is a smart businessman. Deals in all the right places. Gaius' soldiers turn their gaze from him in exchange for free goods. However, no amount of bribery could cover up that Sereth was helping you to find us. And that's how Gaius found out. How much time do you think we have to prepare? Not long, I'm afraid. The whole purpose of Gaius's campaign is to wipe us from the face of this world. Once he knows of our final stronghold, he will send everything he has and destroy us. No, I never can help it. But can you tell more about the whole magic thing you're doing? I see all sorts of lamps here, but no fire. Is this the way of the flameless light? It is, yes. In ancient times, the Moonbloods went by another name. We lived in a great society called the Sintak, and we wielded the knowledge to follow the way of the flameless light. Settle in, Dust. This could take a while. Thanks for the warning. We sent a harness to power unlike any this world had ever seen. We built elaborate contraptions like these lamps, capable of piercing the darkness without so much as a spark. 
Well, obviously something went wrong because we still have to build a fire every time Dust pulls out his map. <laughs> Unfortunately, the ancient tomes do not say how the Sintuk fell, and that knowledge has been lost. Perhaps intentionally. All we know is that our kind were made as outcasts, and that has remained true for countless generations. For the longest time, we believe the Moonbloods were the only ones left who know of the way of the flameless light. But we were wrong. When General Gaius began his purge, there were stories of their weapons. Stories of elaborate contraptions that seemed to defy the natural world. Weapons that sound identical to those of the Sinduk in the most ancient of tales. I noticed that an extra off has sneaked in before the ancient. Hmm. But yeah, let me guess I have to find my way through those contraptions. What kinds of weapons are we talking about? Yeah, I can like get some arrows data? made of light. Machines that take to the sky like birds. <sighs> this is going to be bad. And we're supposed to fight these things with your lamps. I did not say it would be easy. Nobody True. ever does. <laughs> I did once, remember? Yeah, and you were wrong. <laughs> Well, I'm here now. Is there anything I can do to help? We are spread rather thin. Our chief engineer, Sonjin, is having trouble with our camp's support systems. Go and speak with him when you can, and I'm sure he will explain further. There is also the matter of our scout, Kier. He is not checked in for many hours. But with our battle preparations, we have not been able to mobilize a proper search party. His patrol takes him east of our camp if you aim to find him. Fair enough. I thought that might be a platform. Oh, hey! Ginger? Jin? Oh, Dust. It's you. Yeah, just me. Are you alright? I'll be fine. Just a lot to think about. I can imagine. Listen, about Jin. Yes? What was he like? He was very kind. Almost to a fault, really. I like him already. <laughs> yes, he had that effect on people. I like to believe it's what made you do all those wonderful things for Aurora and Mudpot. Well, he is part of my personality and it was great, it's, so yeah, I imagine you had it. Aro was always testing me. Every time I made a choice, he would tell me if it was the right one. I was choosing whether to follow Jin or Cassius. I believe they were both trying to influence my actions. And you listen to Jin? Yeah, he's kinda hard to ignore. He is, isn't he? Or at least he was. No, Ginger, I think you were right the first time. I think Jin continues to live through my actions. He's guiding me, keeping me on the right path. Well, the same is, could be said about the other guy. I think, uh, you. It's kind of hard, I don't know the metaphysical aspects of it, but he is created from two persons and both gave some of the, them to it. But what if your other it? half? Cassius murdered my family, Dust. He destroyed my village, killed my friends. How can you control such a terrible being? I feel his presence every time I swing the blade of Ara. I believe the Elder was right. Without him, I'd have been cut down long ago. But Jin... Jin keeps him from taking control. As long as Cassius lives within you, though, there's always that danger. You could always be pulled to a path of evil. Ain't the same true of all thinking beings? I won't lie. I felt him pulling me to take the quick and easy path. To leave the weak to fend for themselves. To show no mercy to those in my way. Perhaps someday you can be rid of his foul presence. Maybe. Someday. For now, I need him to defeat Gaius. There's no other way. Furthermore, even those with only one soul will face those temptations. It's hardly unique. I know. Still, I'm glad we were able to talk, Dust. Me too, Ginger. I'll be back before you know it. Be careful. <laughs> 